And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes, and I am here to open some more packs in NBA 2K21, my team. So, we got new Idol Series 3 Penny Hardaway packs. I'm pretty stoked on these. Like, these, this set is, this set is fire. Uh, I feel like it was geared directly towards me uh, with an invincible Penny Hardaway, um, a Brandon Roy that can play point guard, and uh, Dark Matter Jonathan Isaac, who, if he's under 100k, will be one of the best budget cards in this game. Um, I don't think he'll be too far under 100k, so I don't think he's going to be classified as a budget card. My guess is he'll probably end around 70 or 80k, like somewhere around where like Thurl Bailey and Jameson are at. But uh, this set, for the most part, is really tight. Uh, the Opals really aren't that good. Like, Brooke Lopez is pretty solid. Ray Allen is Ray Allen, so he's really good. Um, and then Rozier, he's a little too small to be that effective. But uh, it's really about testing the odds. Like, that's kind of where we're at. That being said, though, this Ray Allen is cheap enough. Like, he's going to be absolutely fire. Um, I also just have this feeling that even though it's young with hair bucks Ray Allen, for some reason, he's going to have the same player model as the enshrined Ray Allen or any of the Boston Ray Allens because 2K just gave up on multiple player models this year. Looks like we got Brooke Lopez. Um, I mean, is Brooke Lopez good? No. Do I need it for my all-time Nets team? Yes, uh, I do, because I was rocking a diamond Brooke Lopez for my center on that squad, so whatever. He's probably going to be like buyout 7K or whatever. And like as far as centers go for 7K, he probably isn't going to be that bad. Um, not really all that great, but uh, you know, if you're looking for like an offline CPU center to mess around with, he's probably pretty good for that. So these packs have an 18% 92 or above that does include all six cards in the set and the multitude of current cards, which I don't even remember how many there are. I know there's like two current Opals, obviously. Um, there's a few pink diamonds and like six or something. So there's like a large pool of cards once you actually get to that 92 plus. So, and obviously the chances for like the Galaxy Opals and stuff are higher. The rarest card in the set is obviously Penny Hardaway. What his actual drop rate is, it's hard to tell. Um, I personally have not pulled any Invincibles from these Idols packs, and I've opened, you know, uh, 20 to 30 plus per Idols pack opening. So, I, I don't know. I haven't really pulled any of the Idols cards. I pulled Kawhi, and that's it, um, which was tight, but, you know, it is what it is. I got 300k for Jamal Murray yesterday, so I'm about to waste, like, way too much MT on these packs. Because, like, I really want all three of these Dark Matters. Penny Hardaway especially. Like, I really want Penny Hardaway. You guys know I've been big on Penny cards this year. And, uh, yeah, Invincible Penny's about to be a monster, dude. I need him. Like, he might even replace... Nah, he's probably not going to replace uh, Invincible Luka in the starting lineup. But he'll definitely come through and replace Lamar Odom off the bench for sure. No, no question about it. I've been using Magic a lot, though. My thing is, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have to play with Penny Hardaway. That's just that's just it. The Opal Penny is so good. I just want to see what the Invincible one is. I'm hoping Penny Hardaway is uh, similar to Scottie Pippen, where it's because he's that Idols lock-in, I think he'll be expensive. But I think, like, as a card... If he wasn't the idols lock in, I could see him being like 140k, uh, just like Scottie Pippen, because he's got. I mean, I like his jump shot a lot, but I don't know how the rest of the player base feels about it. It just remains to be seen. I'm just hoping he's not that expensive because I do really want this card, um, but I just really don't want to spend like a lot of MT on it because I have to do like so many pack openings for this game, dude. I need it. All right, so far, these packs are not um, not doing me justice, but I do have Lude's Luck. You know, that's always something I can count on to, like, hook it up at some point. Is that going to be right now, or is that going to be, like, 150k down the line? I'm not sure, but, you know, it, it's coming. But if there was a pack where I wouldn't pull Dark Matters, it would be the Idol set. <laughs> so, like, I'm not, I wouldn't be entirely shocked. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Because I think that's... Over the past, like, month and a half, possibly two months, I think the only set I can think of that I didn't pull a Dark Matter, well, o over the last, like, three weeks at least, this season, I think is an idol set. Like, I think that's the only time I didn't pull a Dark Matter, and I believe that was the Dark Idol set. I, I think. Uh, no, I, I pulled Glenn Rice from the Dark Idols, so... 
I'm curious. What was it? Embiid potentially? Oh yeah, it was Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid was the only time that I ever didn't pull a dark matter this season from a set. I think maybe one of the season rewinds I didn't as well, but I just feel like I always do from those. So far, uh, not so good. Uh, I am down. I'm about six, seven packs in, something like that. No, I'm I'm almost at ten, dude. I was at like sixteen fifty when I started. Yeah, I'm about like ten packs in, and I have two opals to show for it, I believe. So, I mean the the pack odds are eighteen percent. So, I mean it makes sense. Like the odds are playing out correctly, which is not what exactly what you want to see necessarily. Oh man, my auctions are about to be so filled up with like these players. Why did I throw a ruby in there? It like doesn't matter whatever i don't know i just really want penny hardaway that's it i'm mad that they put penny hardaway and dirk nowitzki as idols lock-in cards because um i really want them by the way monday no question we're getting an idol super pack i'm, I'm not even kidding we will get a vc only idol super pack on monday there's no question about it so prepare yourself for that because that's definitely going to happen like for sure um I, 2k is predictable you know that's what they're gonna do i wouldn't even be shocked if they drop it tomorrow like a 24 hour only one but i think they'll wait till monday like monday will definitely have that idol super pack and you know what penny hardaway is gonna be so expensive that i'll, I'll probably have to open some i mean i'm gonna do it for the video anyway <laughs> but you know it's fine also shout out to everyone who watched my uh, reaction video yesterday i appreciate you guys I just felt like doing it, so I, I appreciate that people were, like, messing with it a little bit. That's cool. Um, I know I took a 15-minute... Oh, Opal time. Yay. Can it at least be Ray Allen? Like, I, I know he's going to be cheap, but, like, you know, if I can get him from opening packs and not have to spend additional MT. No, this is Scary Terry. That's great. Uh, this is Terry Rozier. Awesome. I mean, you know what? That's fine. My all-time Charlotte team is lacking at the point guard position, so whatever like i have Devonte graham or something i don't even remember who i have um it is what it is these packs are not hitting dude maybe i'm i think i'm just having bad luck this time i will answer that eternal question at the end of this video if you should open these or not but uh so far i would have to say no like there's these are not really that fun i i can't really <laughs> i can't co-sign these packs dude i i can't um, also, like, I am shocked how many of you guys actually um, know who Master P, a.k.a. Percy Miller is. I'm actually shocked by this fact, so shout out to everybody who knew who Master P was. I was, I was shocked with the amount of uh, ma pro Master P people that are in my uh, community, apparently, which is sick. No Limit soldiers stand up. No Limit was so sick, dude. I do like how a lot of... Uh, a lot of people my age are like bringing back the no limit album art style in in some way i mean it's kind of over now but like 2017 2018 a lot of people were like really interested in the no limit art style and would make like i don't i don't want to say like faux versions of the art or like the art style but they would make like t-shirts for like random things that would have the no limit style um <clears throat> just for clarification's sake uh i believe i still have the no Limit Snoop Dogg album uh, somewhere around here. I most certainly have two Master P albums. I'm not exactly sure which ones those are. And then I believe I have a Silk the Shocker album, which is very regrettable. Um, or is it Soldier Slim? It might be Soldier Slim. I, I don't know. No, I think it's Silk the Shocker, which is gross. I don't know why I have that. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't judge me, dude. Um, no Limit was so sick, dude. No Limit records were tight. They made some, like, um, not good music in retrospect. It was, like, not really tight. Yeah, what a crew, dude. Oh, no, it's Mystical. I have Mystical's album. <laughs> Sick. Oh, my God. That's awesome, dude. No limit. These packs suck. There is there is a limit to the amount of packs that I'm about to open, though. That's for sure. I can tell you that with utmost certainty because these are just pain. I have not gotten anything, dude. Like, no way. Ah, oh, this is, like, not good, dude. I'm just trying to get, like, 
you know what? It doesn't even have to be Penny. Obviously, I would really like Penny, but you could give me Jonathan Isaac or Brandon Roy. Brandon Roy is probably going to be a buyout, I would guess. Wouldn't be shocked to see him involved in like a uh, triple threat event this weekend or something. Like that wouldn't be too shocking. It just kind of depends. I, I don't know. But it's like, why are these packs so bad? I don't. I don't get it. Are you guys saving all my luck for Friday? Is that what's happening here? Like, are you doing that? I, I just don't really know what's happening, dude. Look, you, there's all you guys always want me to be back on the ground level with you guys in regards to pack luck. Here I am, dog. Like, I'm back. <laughs> Lude's luck is gone. This is the old Lude's luck. This is this is season six Lude's luck right here. This is this is whack. Season four specifically. I think that was like the worst pack season of my of my 2K21 career. Four or five. I can't remember but they were abysmal and this one is definitely following trend for sure yeah i did have this snoop dogg album the game is to be sold not to be told i actually remember that album being uh terrible so i'm gonna have to go back and listen to it again just to see exactly how uh bad that album was i believe i have made man by silk shock silk the shocker uh somewhere around here i definitely have master p mp to last dawn for sure our last Don, for sure. I definitely have that. I know that. I still have the CD case running around here somewhere. Uh, dude, these album covers are so tight. The best way, for everybody who doesn't know about uh, No Limit Records, um, the best way I can describe their album covers is they're essentially like uh, the prerequisite to the blingy images that you used to see on MySpace and early Facebook, if you know what those are. like That's kind of the best way I can describe it. And if, and if you don't know what I mean, just Google No Limit album covers. Like, they're, they're fire. 18, yeah, 18%. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, bro. At first, okay, here we go. It's an opal. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. I wonder if I can pay someone. I wonder if I can find a graphic designer that'll make my new uh, Brooke Lopez again great. That'll make my uh, channel, like, banner a... Uh, no limit album cover from 1998 that'd be ooh, it'd be sick i might have to think about it it's gonna cost some money though it's, people with those skills definitely know that that they can charge top dollar for them that's that's a fact uh give me something good dude i'm tired of this there we go oh that's an opal i saw the first jump and i got really excited i was like yes finally the pain has ended the years of darkness have lifted and here's an opal and it's terry rogier Okay, dude, I've pulled, like, a bunch of opals, and I still don't have Ray Allen. So Ray Allen is clearly the hardest to pull opal, or I'm just getting, like, super-duper unlucky. I'm just not really sure what's up with that. Oh, man. I don't even know how many packs I'm in at this point. Like, I lost count. Let me look at my MT amount. I started with, like, six, 1.65. Uh, what are we at right now? Oh, man, I'm more than 200K deep on here. I'm almost 300K deep, so I'm almost, like, 30... 30 or so packs into this into this pack opening possibly more due to quick selling stuff like due to the quick sale value i'm probably more like 35 36 packs in and i have like three or four opals to show for it and nothing else so yeah i don't know these packs are pretty bad and this is coming from me like you guys know how good my luck has been and the fact that i can't even pull dark matters out of these packs is crazy maybe it's because i'm not wearing sunglasses i i don't know um okay another opal dude oh man all right like dude just give me at least brandon roy like i know he's gonna be cheap and the easiest one to draw i'm interested in brandon roy though he can play point guard i kind of need it this is like my fourth brooke lopez like i'm not even kidding look brooke lopez uh, i don't want to see your face right now because i'm still hurt from last night by the way i'll say this right now i know this is a pack opening but i will splinter off into nba talk for like two seconds uh that was one of the most unfairly officiated games I have seen last night. Like, the refs have done... <laughs> so they haven't really done a good job in the playoffs, but they've done this thing where one game they'll just heavily favor one team, and then the next game they'll like heavily favor the other team. They did it a lot in the Eastern Conference Finals. Like, uh, this is another Opal probably, yep. You saw it like one game they would give all the calls to Atlanta and then they'd like realize that it looked sketchy, so they just give all the calls to the Bucks the next game. 
Uh, dude, so I'm guessing that's what's going to happen in the next game. But, like, Chris Paul is a menace, dog. Like, my man literally went to the hoop. And I know the move he's trying to do. He wasn't purposely trying to hurt Giannis or anything, I don't think. Uh, I don't know what's happening in Chris Paul's head. But he always does this thing where he'll get around you and then he'll drive to the hoop. But then he'll just, like, stop and throw his butt at your legs and draw the foul. And, like, bro, that is such a cheap move. Devin Booker likes to do the Kobe kick a lot. But, like, Kobe was cool and Devin Booker isn't. So, it's, like, I can't co-sign that. And I've watched, like, Devin Booker and Chris Paul just, like, straight up stiff arm people. Like, they'll have the ball in their hands driving. And I watch them do, like, a way more blatant version of what Jordan did to buy Brian Russell. And I'm just like, bro, dude, come on. Like I said, that one I'm not too worried. Like, I'm not too, like, I'm not tripping about that one. Because Jordan used to do that shit all the time. Kobe used to do that shit. Bron does it all the time. Like... It's, it's something that happens when you're a star player in the NBA. You don't really get those called on you. It doesn't really matter. But, like, it's just annoying to watch, especially when you don't want the Suns to work. Um, or to work. To win. Like, I'm from the Midwest, dog. Like, it's all Bucks over here. I know I'm a Bulls fan, but, like, the Bucks have never been good in my lifetime. So, you know. Also, like, how do you hate Giannis? You can't hate Giannis. It's just so nice. So... NBA talk is over. I'll spout more later. I'll wax poetic about it at a different time. There we go. Give me some. Oh my God, the diamond. Ah, uh, I don't even know who the current diamonds are. Like I honestly don't. Okay, dude. I'm. I. Uh, it's always Damian Lillard. Like, go back and watch all of my pack openings from the last like month. Every time I pull a current diamond, it is literally always Damian Lillard. I don't even understand why. Like, I know there's a bunch more, like, Anthony Davis, right? I think he's a diamond. And I think, like, Luca's a diamond. There's other diamonds for sure. But I swear I always pull Dame. I don't understand what it is. It doesn't matter. They're all going for, like, 2,000 MT. So, like, it doesn't matter which one I'm actually pulling. But it is kind of just annoying that it's always the same one. I just feel spited by 2K at that point. All right. God. Yeah, but let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the officiating from last night's game. Um, I am biased, so I'm obviously rooting for the Bucks. So I don't really know. Maybe I'm tripping, but it, to me, it was suspicious. Like, it was sketchy, for sure. Um, and I'll, I'll be the first to say, like, if the coin was on the other side and the Bucks were getting those calls, I would still definitely say something about it. Like, I'm not that biased to the point where I'd be like, no, those calls are good if the Bucks were getting them and the Suns weren't, like, I definitely would say, like, okay, I'm happy the Bucks won, but that was kind of fishy. So, um, you know, I don't know. Yeah, these packs, dude, I, I would say right now, like, this is pain. I just, I, I don't want to, like, I just don't want to open anymore, but I really want Penny Hardaway, and I just have this sneaking suspicion 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 that like he's gonna be really expensive like i, I don't know yeah <laughs> double sapphire is just in pain dude <sighs> just lewd's luck is just uh not here today he is on vacation i suppose i suppose my luck is on vacation it's just not here I say that until, like, I open Season Rewind Packs tomorrow and I pull, like, multiple Opals. But, like, of course that would happen. Of course I would pull multiple Opals on a set I could care less about. Um, rather than the set that has the point guard that I actually want. <laughs> like, ah, oh, dude. I don't even want point... Alright, there we go. Nope. It's, a, it's an Opal. That's fun. That's, that's just fun. It's super fun. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm good. And it's not even Ray Allen again, of course. Like, uh, I swear, if one of you guys comments that I complain too much this video, I'm going to be mad because I didn't, I honestly didn't even complain that much at all. Definitely less than normal. I would say I complain less than normal. I've had to quick sell so many cards. I just don't even care. Look at Chris Dobbs. Bye. Oh, Terry Rozier, get in there. Oh, man. I just can't believe I didn't even draw Ray Allen couldn't have thrown me a bone just gave me like a ray allen i'm literally about to spend 400k and i pulled nothing <laughs> come on dude no 
with the with the current series pink diamond that just that's just unnecessary that just hurts man why'd you do that to me it's the honest great <laughs> fun uh at least he's going for like five or six k i think I, I don't know i'll get something for him i still don't think i even made my mt back on the pack though that's 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 bad i don't think a single pack i opened today um i've either I've, i have not profited or gained my MT back from a single pack I've opened. I've lost MT on every single pack I've opened today, which is, it, that's pain. It's it's pain, incarnate. Double Emeralds Dog. All right, well, I got to cut this off. Like, I got to stop opening packs. I, it's tough for me to do so uh, because I just, I'm so used to pulling dark matters at this point, but I got to do it. All right, last pack magic. It has to be, it has to be the end, right? It has to no okay i said last pack magic did you not hear me 2k like you know how this works you're supposed to give me a dark matter right now you know what? i'm done I'm done with it all right let's look at the set itself uh where's penny god no pain so much pain yeah okay uh penny hardaway is looking like he's about to be like super expensive um i'm hoping his price calms down over the you know course of the next few days uh, Brandon Royce looking good though. He should be a buy now. I'll probably end up buying him. I should have just not opened packs and just bought Brandon Roy and Jonathan Isaac, and I would have still had 200 plus KMT back in my bank account. Uh, Jonathan Isaac doesn't look like he's buy it now yet. Um, it, it's really tough to say if he's going to be or not, um, just because he's Jonathan Isaac and everyone knows how good that card is this year. So it's, it's tough. Beyond level 40, God, more season rewinds. All right, at least I got some MT to make real quick. Okay, that's that's good. I guess we're getting Blake Friday. That's my guess. As always, it has been your boy Cheap Ludes. Check the description for all my stuff, and I will be back later with more content. I'm doing the squad tip series today. So check me out then. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, and don't open these packs. Peace.